Welcome to my channel and this is a quick review of Pentax SF10. Welcome to my quick review of Pentax DSLR SF10 When I bought this, it already has film inside so I just continue using it Also it comes with two lens One is 28-80mm to 80 millimeter 3.5 to 4.5 The other one is 70-200 f4 to 5.6 lens is still good basic parts this is hot shoe mount for the plus you have to slide the cover right there shutter release button selector dial power button LCD screen mode dial drive mode battery compartment film rewind button tripod mount lens release button EF and manual focus and this is I think this is for the shutter release remote this is to access the back cover battery loading so we're using 2CR5 battery then let's load the film open the back cover slide the film in the film chamber also this camera it has DX code meaning camera knows how uh, what ISO you're using for example you use 200 ISO today no need to adjust because it has the Xcode okay slide the film all the way on the corner also it has the gear there the tickle spool and the sprocket make sure you align the film on the sprocket right there and then cover automatically the camera will go to frame number one okay let's talk about the mode so if you go if you set to autofocus and then slide the lens to A that's A for auto press the red indicator here and then switch to A so this is automatic mode if you want to go to shutter priority press the mode right here and then turn this dial now you're in shutter priority so you can change your shutter speed right here 125 60 30 15 8 4 2 1 that is shutter priority if you want to aperture priority so you have to remove the automatic on the lens so press again the red button there and then choose your aperture here for example i move to aperture number eight or f8 
okay if I goes to F22 so you see you can hear that the shutter is changing to slow shutter okay if I goes to F3.5 you will hear the fast shutter it goes to f11 you notice the shutter speed is changing this is aperture priority okay this is manual in auto focus mode it's my auto focus right here you, you see it's really hard to focus right now because it's very there is no subject to focus on let's try here see okay. you want to go to bulb mode press the mode dial here you go that's bulb mode And this is drive mode if you want to go to single shot. This is multiple shots or fast shutter. And this is self timer. that cell timer and sport mode right there so yeah that's how simple to use the Pentax SF10 if you press all the modes make sure you turn this selector dial and also this also DSLR it comes with a built-in flash just press this yellow button right here that's a flash basic manual focus make sure your power button is slide all the way on that side this is like a sound mode manual focusing so if you set on that manual meaning you have to adjust your your lens right here once you adjust this there's a small light indicator on the viewfinder it will turn to green if you're in focus also if you press halfway it will give you a electronic tone saying that you're in focus other function is this small button right here ML this is you call it memory lock how to compose memory lock this is memory lock button the exposure memory lock function temporarily memorize the subject exposure data to adjust the exposure in the automatic exposure mode this function is especially useful for photographing people against very contrasty background such as backlighting or a bright sky so fill the viewfinder with your subject so you have to move your 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 camera to the subject 
on their face or whatever subject you're you're taking picture press the memory lock button right here as long as the memory lock button is pressed the correct exposure is memorized for the subject space during memory lock the exposure indicator in the viewfinder blinks rapidly while maintaining the exposure data with memory lock compose the image and take the picture you have to move your camera if you want to compose your shots like put on the side on the right on the left or in the center when the shutter is released the memory lock is cancelled so if you want to do this again memory lock you have to press it again so that's for another function to rewind press the small button right here and then slide Always remove the battery. Okay, to change the lens, press the lens release button right here. And you see the index right there. You have to align right here. But if it is dark, you have to look for this notch right there and then align here here you go thank you for watching and here are the sample photos